Welcome to PC Mac. Today we are going to install MB Media Server on our Raspberry Pi 4 and we are using Open Media Vault 5 with Docker and Portainer. So let's do it. First of all, let's just navigate to our OMV extras. I have already opened the open media vault and then navigate to docker and open web to open the portainer. Now what we need to do is we need to click on add containers from containers and go to add container. Now we are using this image that is from Linux server MB. So let's just copy the name and put the name here. So we can download the image. You need to just check this option, pull the image. Now let's name it as MB. Now move down and from here we need to click on publish a new network port. So we need to publish two ports and uh, let me just take you to my website and from here let's check the Docker Compose. Now the things that we need to do here, the port that we need to define, it's 8096. So let's just go ahead and do that. 8096 and the second one is 808920. 8920. So let's just put here as well. Now it's done. Now what we need to do is go to volumes and create some volumes. Let's check from here that we need to create config, one folder for TV shows, one folder for movies and uh, one folder for transcodes and these two are optionals, transcode and library, I think it's library, lib. So what we need to do is just start configuring this folder. Let's just go ahead and create the folder first, open the network location. Here we have the containers. Let's create a new folder with the name MB. And then we need to create config. Let's create two more folder transcode and lib. So we have three folders here config, lib, and transcode. And for movies, we will use the plex path. From here, movies and TV shows, we will be using these parts from this folder. Now, let's go back and create these five folders under our volumes here in Podina. So, let's click five times and start copying the data from here. The first folder is config. Let me just start typing. Then you need to click on bind and put the host path that is the path on our NAS drive. So let's just first of all put all the path here. Now we have put the path of all the folders here. Now we'll go back to open media world and uh, from here we just need to copy this path and put it start pasting it here change it to containers forward slash mv as we have the path right here containers and plex you can check that out from here we have the folder with the name containers you need to make sure that you need to type the name correctly. So I have C is as capital. So I need to put it C as capital. Let's just go back and change it to C. And then from here we have created one folder with config. Let's just copy it. Leave other things as it is. And So 
so it's right here we have one movie here so we will check that whether it's working or not now the volume is done so we'll move to network and uh, we'll check that there is nothing mentioned here so what we need to do is we need to keep our network into bridge mode so leave it default in bridge mode then we need to go into environment and we need to configure these environment in our Portainer. So we have one, two, three, four environment. Let's just start typing. So we have PUID, PGID, time zone, and the last one is UMask underscore set. So the default value is 0 to 22. So just type it like that and my time zone is Asia Kolkata if you don't know about what's your time zone just go back to open media vault and then click on date and time and you will find your time zone right here now let's go back to portainer and uh, type the value of PUID and PGID so we have created one user in open media vault with the name PC Mac so we require the ID of PC Mac. Let's go ahead and log in. So the command is ID and PC Mac. You need to type the name is in case sensitive. And the ID is right here 1001 and that is the PUID and PG ID is 100. So let's just go ahead and uh, do that. 1001 and PG ID is 100. So this one is done this path this section is also done the environment done the path done and the ports are done then we need to navigate to restart and the policies unless stopped so let's just go ahead and do that restart policy unless stopped and these other options are optional if you want you can go ahead and configure them or just leave them as it is no problem with this and after that just click on deploy the container so we are downloading the image right now so it might take some time oh, we made a mistake uh, in the name we just need to type MB and we need to put the image here and then again deploy the container I have changed the name in the name I put the image name and in the image I put the name of the container so now it's correct and you will see it will be start deploying in process deployment in process it will take like two to three minutes depending upon the internet speed so it's done you can see that MB is running now it's right here running so let's go ahead and try to access our MB server so we have configured the port 8096 so let's just go ahead and check whether we are able to access it or not so as you can see once we type our open media vault address 192.168.1.26 and then port number 8096 that we have configured on our Portainer, it will give us the access, the quick start guide for MB is welcoming us. Let's go ahead and select the language English United States. Next, let's create a username PC Mac and a password. And if you have an account with MB, you can also put it right here. Just click on next. And now let's start adding the libraries. So the content type that we need to put is movies display name is movie so add the folder from here let's go down and check the location so once we select data movies because we have bind the path together with our data movies to our folder in Plex that is right here Plex and it took the movies right here so let's just click OK and if you want to download the metadata you can also do that the language that you want let's select English 
let's select country India these are the settings if you want you can download the subtitles as well so let's just click OK now if you want to add some other folders you can just go ahead and do that from here otherwise just leave it as it is and click on next so it says preferred metadata language so let's select India you need to choose your country and then just next agree the terms and condition and finish let's click on PC Mac and enter the password that we have created and it's done and as you can see we have the movie right here let's just click on save and try to play the movie and it's working absolutely fine let's just go ahead and maximize minimize let's go back so it's working absolutely fine now the MB media server is configured successfully on our open media world 5 if you miss anything you can follow the guide from the start that is from the first video how you can install open media world 5 on your raspberry pi 4 because we have covered lots of things from that particular video and you will find some other useful information as well so guys that's it from my end if you like my work, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. Share this video with your family and friends. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Take care. Have a nice day.